I have an empties video. Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. So I finally filmed my empties for Bath and Body Works product. So it's time to share. Unfortunately, today was trash day slash is trash day, but trash has already been picked up and um, I definitely always tend to do this and it's definitely not planned. It's just that whenever I feel like this is full, it just happens to be trash day. And by the time I get around filming it because our trash guy comes very, very early, it's too late. So it won't be taken away to the recycling slash trash till next week. So yeah, let's go ahead and jump into this video. But before I start, I just wanted to say that I have started a playlist of all of my Bath and Body Works empties. If you ever just decide to binge watch them, it's all easy peasy for you. Or if you ever wanted to go back to see like what scents I liked before, because I do give a lot of my opinions, that is definitely available on my channel. Um, just because I wanted to be like everyone else and have a playlist of some sort and I feel like Bath and Body Works MD's videos is definitely an interesting one. But without further ado, let's go ahead and get started into this giant thing of empties. So I finished up a shower gel. This is the Mango Tango Twist. I picked it up in bulk, I think, at a semi-annual sale. And when I say in bulk, I mean like from this collection that had... I remember that the body sprays had very fun, colorful looking straws, like the print, as the thing that like pumps it out of the bottle, if that makes any sense. Um, the spritzer? I don't know. So it was very cutesy, however, I'm just not a fan of the scents. I think I just stocked up on shower gel that time to stock up on sh shower gel, um, but I think I have like one more left in this collection that then I'm finally done. I think it might even be a Mango Tango Twist, but it's just a very generic scent. It definitely it was not like, you know, I used it, I didn't hate it, I also didn't love it, it just was kind of meh. It's just a very generic scent, which Bath & Body Works tends to put out from time to time, um, and it wasn't anything special. But I'm glad I finished it, and it was pink, because pink is one of my favorite colors. But it's gone. If you just saw my update on my Rolling Bath & Body Works project pan, then these items won't be a little bit of a surprise for you. So this is the Bath & Body Works, obviously. <laughs> This video is Bath & Body Works, Renee. This was a desert wildflower moisturizing shower gel. I did not like the scent. I'm not going to talk your ear off too much about this because I definitely did in my last update where I finished this off. I basically just used this as a shaving gel because I was just not a fan of the scent and my mom would not take it off my hands no matter how much I pleaded, begged, and offered. So I just ended up using up. Um, I could have cut this open, but I'm not going to because I didn't like the scent and I found that it permeated in the bathroom a lot, but I'm just glad that this is gone. I also ended up finishing my sunshine days in my last update. This is my last body lotion in sunshine days. I paid $30 for a three pack off of eBay off of someone because Bath & Body Works does not bring this back very often, at least the Bath & Body Works in my areas during the semi-annual sale. So I'm very, very sad because this is spring in a bottle. It was one of my favorite scents that they have ever created. But you know, like everything Bath & Body Works does, they just always take away your favorites. Always. They just give you some joy and then they strip it away from you. So I don't think I will purchase another pack off eBay just because it is getting quite old and you know when lotions get old they're just not as moisturizing they're very liquidy and they're a little bit of a hassle to rub into the skin so i might just stick to shower gels slash buy and fragrance mist if i decide to pull the trigger and buy some more but i don't think that's gonna happen anytime soon but it was it was a great run for sunshine days i still have a little bit of the fine fragrance mist and then i'll be completely out which is very very sad Let's talk about hand soap since this is the next thing I have. I finished a fresh lemonade foaming hand soap. This smells delicious. It was a perfect summertime scent even here in Arizona where the summer, it was so freaking hot. Um, I had this in the bathroom after I have had the different bottle in my last empties in the kitchen. I just had to steal it. It smells like freshly squeezed lemonade and I mean how can you just not have that during summer? It's perfect, especially to beat the summer heat. 
Um, I definitely would consider buying this again in the future. Obviously now we're heading into fall. Everyone else gets fall, but us in Arizona, we, we still have summer, but it's not as intense of a summer as summer is. So it just wouldn't quite fit in the best if you want to be seasonal, but definitely 100, 1000%. <laughs> 100-1000% recommend if you see this during the semi-annual sale. If it does come back during the semi-annual sale in the winter time, I'm definitely picking it up because it was that good. I went through two of them. The next one was Blue Sage and Lime. I put this down in the kitchen downstairs because it was more a little bit, like it felt like it could be a little bit more masculine than all of like the fruity scents that I tend to put. Um, however, it wasn't my favorite. I think it just had some aspect to it that I wasn't loving i don't know what it is what are the water juicy orange and freshwater cucumber i love cucumber but maybe i don't love it as a scent because it i feel like it was a cucumber in this that kind of put me off a little bit it's not something i would repurchase but i mean we all used um i don't know there was just something about it that i i liked when you smell it just like this but when just like this but when uh, i don't know now i just smell the thing this note that i didn't like um i didn't ask for feedback on the soap because they kind of just use what i put out there which is the best way but i didn't ask how they felt about the soap and it's actually been a while so there's no point in asking them because they probably don't remember and when i mean they including my mom the boys probably wouldn't remember because it's just what they use to wash their hands but the packaging was really pretty the liquid was blue it was nice for the kitchen so it wasn't something pink um and didn't off put the boys although they don't really care but i don't think i would pick this scent up again just because i don't know i think some note in there just really put me off from it that wasn't the only hand soap i don't have it anymore but i put a little paper to remind myself to talk about it in this empties so i used the lush honey i washed the kids soap in my bathroom before the current soap again just trying to fit in some naked lotions just to reduce the plastic waste here and there mostly in bathrooms because i think the kitchen like having real soap there is just better for everyone but the bathrooms are where you can kind of pass off the bar soap at least in my house i really liked honey i washed the kids i'm pretty sure that's the name of it i didn't look it up um pretty positive however and i always wanted to try it for years and years and years and i finally got around to trying it but the little honeycomb portion of it fell off real quick especially once the soap was wet and sitting in the dish soap thing it's the dish soap the soap for the dish the dish for the soap there you go i don't know what i was trying to say it just didn't sound right to say dish soap container because i was thinking of like the actual soap that you use for your dishes not the dish that holds the soap anyways because the dish that holds the soap sometimes like would get water because there's just no like it's wet you can't dry a bar soap unless it's like air drying um it really deteriorated that top portion that's like a honeycomb type of situation on the soap so that fell off really quick however this one did not stain my soap like the other lush soap i used um snow fairy back in january and that stained the white sink pink and it was horrible so this one didn't stain the sink in any color it was just really messy in the dish for the soap <laughs> So, I mean, I wouldn't be, like, I wouldn't mind picking it up again, but I definitely wouldn't have it out for guests because of how fast it deteriorated. I It would just be like a personal soap, and it was yummy, it was delicious. It didn't dry my hands out as much as Bath & Body Works soaps do, um, but it is kind of pricey for soap, and I say pricey, even more pricey than, like, the luxury it is to buy hand soaps from Bath & Body Works, so... Definitely not a reoccurring thing, but again, I try to sneak it in every couple of soaps. My brother did not like it because we share a bathroom. He does not like bar soap for washing his hands. He much prefers like the foaming one. But, you know, we're trying to do our part to save the environment and um, just taking out a couple of plastic bottles every couple of soaps is, you know, helps, especially if more people start doing it, if they just sacrifice the self to use a bar soap every now and then it adds up over time used up the a thousand wishes travel size body lotion i used this back in august 
when I went to California for a couple days and I originally planned no I think I took this lotion sorry I keep dropping everything I think I just took this lotion and the lush naked lotion just because I wanted to keep it light so I have both of them in here um, so I used up a thousand wishes the only thing I can't really use of from a thousand wishes is the fine fragrance mist something about my chemistry and a thousand wishes fine fragrance mist just does not mix well and it ends up smelling like body odor on me but I can wear the lotions and the shower gels so I really do like the scent it is a lot warmer of a scent and I just hit my lip with it lovely um however I don't think I have anything else in a thousand wishes and I'd only ever pick it up if it was on sale it's not something that I would find worthy of like their buy two get one free buy three get three free sales um, sometimes I do do that for scents that I absolutely love, but unfortunately A Thousand Wishes is just not that one. Um, however, I am going to save the container and just fill it up with normal lotion since I don't have any more travel size lotions, I think. Um, so it would just be good to keep in your bag and when I travel again, but that's not happening. Actually, it might happen in November because my anniversary and it's my turn to go out again because Josh just came out. Anyways, I'm <laughs> giving you a life update in this this video and then I have the lush naked body lotion I was not a fan I just it does not feel moisturizing the way that normal moisturizers feel on your legs as well as it is like ugh, you just have to warm it up so much like even if you just warm it up a little bit enough for it to emulsify and be able to rub into your legs it just doesn't sink in and it's just way too much of a hassle for a lotion also if you use it all over your body this barely lasted me barely two weeks i don't even think it made it to the two week mark um so for the price i don't think it's worth it however I wouldn't even know. I thought it would have been nice like for traveling just because then like if you use it up you don't have to bring home like a plastic bottle or just lug around a bottle of lotion. It's essentially lighter than a bottle of lotion. Bottle of lotion. I don't know why that sounded weird when I said that. But it just for what you like what it feels like ugh, I'm gonna have to pass on this. As much as I wanted to reduce my consumer waste especially in the body lotion area this lotion is just not it for me. Um, especially because I already have dry skin as it is and I need to feel moisturized if not I feel uncomfortable that's how dry my skin is um, so unfortunately this is not cut it out for me and I really wanted it to because how great and I have this plastic bag because um, in the paper that they give you like obviously that gets all oily and gunky and I've just been reusing this for many things um, it would have been great if it would have worked but unfortunately it didn't so hopefully lush does something to fix it or maybe i can try their massage oils and see if that works a lot better than the lotion because i know some lush employees have recommended that when i've been in the store um but i have to make it to lush and honestly i just i don't need it right now okay i also finished up the coconut hibiscus body cream this is also in my why am I so itchy? <laughs> my Rolling Bath & Body Works Project Pan. I had some issues with this fragrance. I did cut and open because we try not to be wasteful for most things. That moisturizing shower gel is the exception. Um, however, I don't know if it was this or because I was shaving my legs a lot or because the temperature was somewhat changing. So the environment somewhat changed even though you don't feel it, your skin does. This burned the frickle heck out of my legs. It stung so bad, I broke out in bumps, and I don't know what it was, I just know that I was using this, I was shaving my legs, while also shaving my legs with a, moist, a body wash, which is a soap, which can dry out your skin also, even though it says moisturizing shower gel, it still is soap and dries out your skin. And the temperatures here slightly changed, just like in the nighttime, it actually is cool now and not also hot at night, which it tends to be in the desert during the summer. So I don't know what it was, but I do know that while I was using this, I mean, I had been using this one for longer, but when I was using this, my legs just broke out in bumps every time I shaved, and it was not a pleasant experiment experiment and experience overall so i have another not of this scent but i have another one and i'm gonna put off using that until 
probably the springtime where it's not as dry and temperatures are a little bit more stable and I'm not shaving my legs as much over there but um, I would pass especially because of what it did I mean it smells okay but for what it did no thanks and sometimes Bath and Body Works lotions especially certain formulations of certain things that they come out in the body lotions can do that to my legs and I know it's happened to a couple of you in like the holiday souffles that they had a couple years ago I have another shower gel in here also from that same collection that I was talking about this is ice coconut colada this is the second one that my brother and I used up he absolutely loved the scent so we were both sharing it um, he likes to use my things sometimes because he also really likes smelling nice <laughs> Um, and this one was actually a good one from the collection. Um, like I said, this is the second one we have used up of Ice Coconut Colada, and I don't have any more, but he has a bunch of men's shower gel that I think he enjoys right now in the shower, so. I would, if, similar scents always come out because it's very summery, so if this comes out again, I would definitely say, like, give it a try. It's definitely not... Like, it's coconutty, but it's not, like, a true coconut, like coconut hibiscus was, even though it's different forms. But, you know, I like this type of coconut when Bath & Body Works does actually put it out. I have a candle in here. Not a Bath & Body Works candle, but a candle nonetheless. This is the Veluspa rose-colored glass candle, and I'm so reusing this packaging because look at that gorgeousness. I also had it in pink, but that one's in my college storage, um, which I eventually have to go get because, you know, I'm not going back to college if you saw my update because it's all virtual and it's my senior year. But um, rose-colored glasses smelled so, so freaking good. It just smells like some... It's light enough where everyone can appreciate it. It's not like too sweet or too something else. I definitely want to buy more because this is my only one of this one and um yeah except Veluspa is expensive so and the holidays are coming up so unless they have a good deal it'll be a while before I end up repurchasing this one but it is so so good it has a little bit of a rose obviously it's called rose colored glasses but I didn't expect to like this one as much as I did until I started burning it, and I mean, clearly it's all gone. The only thing that Veluspa candles, because it's like a cocoa wax, it is a lot more troublesome to take out the wax than it is in comparison to Bath & Body Works candles, but is cocoa wax better than regular wax? I don't know. I just know that it's a pain to clean out their things, and they like... I don't know how they do it, but I can never manage to take out the little thing that holds the wick. It's like a part of the attachment. Like, you cannot remove that. That's how hard they, like, <laughs> clue it in. Like, I've tried. I don't succeed. I just leave it in there, and it's fine. It's fine. So definitely repurposing that and want to repurchase that as well. I have another body lotion in here. This is the Strawberry Pound Cake. I have backups because this smells so good. So good. I just picked some more up during the semi-annual sale. It is so good. I even got my boyfriend to really, really enjoy the scent. Um, is it because I used it or because he liked it? Who really knows? But he is not a fan of very, very sweet scents. And... He likes this one now. That's how that's how good it is. I know, like, I think it's Tina Marie doesn't like the scent, but it's fine. She has a bigger following, so that means if she doesn't like it, she won't have her followers go buy it, which means it's more for us who love it, which is great. Tina, if you're watching this, I freaking love you. <laughs> um, but I know I think you don't like this scent, but I do, and I have more backups, and I'm glad that um, they've been bringing this back a lot more often this year, I think. Yeah, I wouldn't be surprised if we saw this during the winter semi-annual sale once again because um, it is such a hit from that collection. I have a perfume sample. I decided to put it in here rather than my normal empties because it is a sample. I think full-size perfumes, I'll just put that in my beauty empties. Um, but this is the Louis Vuitton Attrape. Attrape Rave. I don't even know how to say that because I haven't taken French. 
and I keep saying I want to take it, but I think I have to wait um, until I graduate to tackle um, French. So because it's Louis Vuitton and their perform perfumes are super expensive, I actually, you know, use these up. Um, I actually have the full size of this one, so I, this one I was keeping in my bag slash when I was traveling and didn't want to bring a full size perfume. I just took this one. This was supposed to be my 2020 scent because 2020 was supposed to be like the new decade. It's the year of the mouse or the rat, but mouse is cuter, and Chinese New Year and that is my year. So we all thought 20, like I specifically was like, I'm going to buy a Louis Vuitton perfume because 2020 is going to be my year and um, 2020 <laughs> isn't no one's year. Um, so yeah, but at least I have a perfume. I have the full size of this and I love it. I absolutely do. It's a nice floral scent. Um, is it worth the 200 and something dollars? Probably not, but you know, we all thought 2020 was going to be a special year and boy, it was special, but for all the wrong reasons. <laughs> Um, last couple of items here. I finished off the hand cream in Mary Cookie. I picked this up during the semi annual sale for like a dollar or something, which was great because they want a lot for this measly one ounce um, hand cream otherwise. I liked Mary Cookie when I picked it up, but as I was using it, it just smells kind of like it went off. like like spoiled milk. That's kind of how I felt that this particular hand cream was starting to smell the more that I used it. Um, so needless to say, I mean, I don't, I doubt we'll ever see like this specific packaging. They will bring Mary Cookie out during the holiday season, but formulation wise might be different than obviously this one. So if I saw this one, I probably wouldn't pick it up, but I wouldn't mind using this upcoming holiday seasons one. If there's no problem with the formulation, but you wouldn't really know that until you tried it and were using the whole thing. But I used it up anyways and cut it open because even though I picked it up for a dollar and change, one ounce, we're cutting her open. And because it's Linda times to finish off my empties, it would be weird if I didn't have at least one hand sanitizer. I mean, Yes, I have one hand sanitizer. It is in the scent Gingham. There's still like a little bit roaming around in there, but it's really hard for me to get out. And I just have others that I can use. So I thought that there was no point really in trying to scrape out the last bit of hand sanitizer in here because it very much would be counterintuitive to try to use this up when I really needed it rather than just having an easy squirt and getting all off. Or getting off all the nasty germs on my hands um, but yeah I expect that there's gonna be more in the next one as I'm working now so I'm leaving the house a lot more than when I was when I only used up one so I would expect to see more but at the same time don't because I don't think I'm just I don't think I'm gonna be purchasing any more hand sanitizer from Bath and Body Works soon just because I don't know the deals that they have now seem like it's quite a bit and we have a lot of like the big hand sanitizer bottles around the house that my parents have bought during Linda times so I think I'm just gonna take like where'd it go I have an em another empty one of these and I honestly think I'm just gonna fill it up with a generic hand sanitizer and just carry this around rather than constantly buying the little ones because it's more cost efficient this way as well as I won't be going through if I'm just going through these. My camera rudely cut me off while I was, you know, saying that, but I try to finish my sentence. However, that is everything that I have. Actually, there should be one more item that I'm literally about to finish because it has one more use left, but this video is so freaking long already that I'm just gonna save it for the next empties and then I'll feel better about starting a new bag um, to get another one sooner because we all love these videos I love these videos I love seeing like wow I'm using my stuff but also like oh my god there's so much plastic anybody else just me I don't know anyways make sure you give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and made it to the very end um, your girl is trying to pay off her student loans so all the engagement she can get helps um, if you're not subscribed because I know I have a lot of non-subscribers watching this video, and if you made it to the end, please subscribe. I'd love if you would join the family and um, have you around more often. But I hope you guys are having a fantastic day, and I will see you guys all in the next one. Bye!